Hi guys, sorry it's been such a long time since my last video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a uh, empties box. Um, I've never done one of these before, I've never really had that much sort of interesting stuff to sort of throw away. Um, I'm pretty new to um, latest skincare and makeup and that sort of stuff, so I'm pretty excited to be doing this video today. Um, if you're new to my channel and you're interested in seeing more on reviews on skincare, um, makeup, um, or you just want to hang around, feel free to subscribe, um, if you like my video, give it a thumbs up, and, um, yeah, let's get stuck into it. Mostly it's going to be, um, skincare masks, there's a couple of makeup pro uh, products there, um, but yeah, anyway, don't forget to check the bell if you subscribe, otherwise you're not going to get updated with the videos, and there's nothing I can do about that. Alright, let's get started. Alright, welcome back. First thing I want to say is I do apologise with my lighting. Um, at the moment I've just got overhead light and um, some sort of small lamp in front of me. I do have box lights, but they seem to... <sighs> well, I disappear once I put them on, so I don't have a big area to be able to record in at the moment. Um, as you can see, bed and crap behind me. But anyway, we're going to make do with what we've got. So. Um, like I said, you know, today is my empties, um, uh, yeah, um, let's just get started. The first thing I want to start with is deodorants and, um, body sprays. Now, we did in Australia have, um, Avon, and unfortunately Avon has recently left. Um, I'm pretty sure we can still order things, um, overseas and get them sent here, but if you're anything like me, you can't be bothered with, bothered with that, so, um, bothered. <laughs> Tongue tied already. You can't be bothered with ordering overseas unless it's something like you really have to have. And to be honest with you, the only thing that I really brought from Avon was their body sprays. And um, I'm actually welcoming the change. So um, getting out of my comfort zone a little bit with some fragrances. And um, But if you do like Avon and you can get a hold of it, my favorite holy grail body spray, not deodorant, just all over the body was this Imari Seduction. I loved this. Um, originally they just had Imari and it was sort of in a little bit more of a red um, coloured thing and I did use that and I didn't mind that but then they brought Imari Seduction out and I just... <sighs> I loved it. I loved it so much that I actually have the perfume version, the deodorant. I used to buy these when they had like three for the price of two or whatever. Anyway, um, we haven't had Avon for several months now and I'm still going on with these. I've got backups. So um, I'm going to get through these and then once I am finished with that, then I've got to try and find a new fragrance for myself. So if you've got any suggestions, um, um, yeah, I'm all ears. I... Um, I don't know, I don't really like too sweet, um, that's the problem, you know, a lot of the female perfumes, they're just too sweet, and I also don't like too florally, so I'm really, really picky, I, um, I kind of like woody scents, like, almost masculine scents, but I don't want to smell like a man either, so, uh, I don't know, I don't know. If you've got any suggestions, feel free to comment down below and let me know, but that is the one that I absolutely loved, um, I'm gonna be sad when I run out of that, so... Anyway, next one is another deodorant that, it, well, uh, not another deodorant, a deodorant that I use. I love this brand. Um, in fact, I use their body wash. I use the Dove Original. Uh, they have a few different types. Um, they even have a sensitive one, and I am sensitive, but the sensitive one tends to leave like powder everywhere, like a powder residue under my arms, and it doesn't really work that well to, um, to, well, stop me sweating. So, but this one is absolutely fantastic. You just buy this one from Woolworths or anywhere, really. And, um, yeah, I sweat like a man. What can I say? And this stops me. So, I love this stuff. I always buy it. I have a backup of it. I have several backups of it. Um, I do buy it when it's on special. It's, it also says it's got one quarter moisturizing cream with vitamin D and F, and it says it's a 48-hour antiperspirant deodorant. Um, Maybe it's 48 hours if you don't sweat much, but for me, it will last me a good 8 hours before I need to reapply this. So this is a winner for me, and it's relatively cheap, so I do love that. Now, I'm not really one to start talking about toothpastes and everything like that, but I brought this one 
particularly because I have trouble with, well, I used to be a smoker and I am a coffee drinker. No longer smoke, it's been ooh, two years. Yeah, yeah, a little bit over two years now. And um, <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong, there are times where I still wanna pick one up and, <sighs> but no, stay strong. Anyway, um, I've tried this toothpaste a couple of times stupidly and every time I thought, that it would work, I don't know why, you know, once bitten, twice shy, but whatever, this is the, um, I don't even know what it is, the uh, Extra Strength Whitening Toothpaste White Glow Professional Choice. It's crap. I, I didn't see any improvement whatsoever. Um, and not only that, I mean, I have sensitive teeth, and sometimes I need to use a sens uh, sensitive toothpaste. This sort of actually makes my teeth worse. So, um, I mean, uh, I'm sure it cleans my teeth. It doesn't whiten, it's no good. Um, yeah, like I said, I've brought this twice now. I've hated it twice, I'll never buy it again. I originally, when I first brought this, it came with a guard and um, a gel that you would put in and that was patchy as, oh God, you wouldn't believe it. I ended up with big white chunk here, gray, oh. Uh, anyway, nasty wouldn't, you can't even see it, wouldn't recommend it to anybody, um, it's horrible stuff, and if you can recommend something, um, once again, go ahead, comment down below, I am interested, very interested in that charcoal toothpaste that people keep on going on about, um, but, ugh, I don't know, I just feel like it's gimmicky, and, I don't know, I think because it's different, everybody's bragging about it and hoping that it's good, I don't know, let me know what you think. Anyway, let's go on to skincare, um, well, yes, yeah, skincare, sort of, a body wash. Um, but I got uh, a couple of samples from um, this company through Ballabox. Um, I do Ballabox, and they give samples in their Ballabox. And anyway, this is an argan oil. Uh, wait one sec. It's a argan oil of Morocco body wash by um, OGX. There you go, OGX. Um, I actually really don't mind this. It's, um, how do I explain it? You know when you get your hair washed at a salon and the shampoo just smells so expensive? <laughs> That's what this smells like. Now, um, I used the whole lot. I, I squeezed it on my, um, spongy thing and whatever. And I just, I felt like I was being pampered. I really did like this. I'm, I'm not sure whether I'd want to smell like this all the time. Like, I, I liked it to break up, um the soap that I usually use. I do usually use a Dove one because I do have sensitive skin, but this was really nice and it felt um, very luxurious. It lathered up really well. It smelled fantastic. I could still smell it on me after I got out of the shower and dried, um, even after I applied, applied moisturizer um, because I don't use scented moisturizers, so I guess that's a bonus. This was fantastic. Um, I would buy this again if I saw it on special. I generally only buy body washes when I see them on special and I generally only go outside my comfort zone of the Dove um, when I've tried samples like this and that's why I love Bella Box. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this and in conjunction with this came a, can you even see that? Um, came a Argan Oil of Morocco body lotion. I've still got some left in this and the reason why I'm putting it into my empties is because I I'm going to use this tonight, so it'll be empty after that, so I don't know what I'm going to do another empties video. I've really got to start using some, um, some products to... I don't think I'm going to have one every month. It might be like once every two months, but I'm going to try. Anyway, I love this stuff. I, um, I'm, love, I'm loving the fact that I've been introduced to this brand and I want to try some more. Um, I reckon this would be nice uh, as a hair mask. Like, I want to look into the brand more and see whether they actually have a hair mask. Um, cause I think that would be absolutely gorgeous and I think that it needs to be, um, a hair product cause it smells like one. It's good. It's good. I like it. Yeah. Moving on. Another Bella Box thing that I got was the Sand and Sky Pink Australian Clay. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I have sensitive skin and girl, it's got a weird smell. Like I've smelt it before, but Oh, it's a starburst. Um, you know the pink starburst that kind of tastes like medicine? That's what that smells like. This is not bad. This actually feels really, really good. Um, this was a scrub, I believe, yeah, exfoliating treatment, but because I have sensitive skin, I just left it on my face as recommended as a sort of like a, um, 
a mask kind of thing and then I just sort of gently I exfoliated a little bit as I was wiping it off and um, I'm not going to say that I saw results I didn't but it felt nice um, it, it it is a good scrub like I, I it did pull all the crap can I say crap it did pull all of the stuff out of my skin um, and uh, yeah I guess I felt great using it um, but it's not cheap and that just makes me kind of not want to buy it. Everything in Australia is expensive, it really is. And um, I like this, but I don't need it. Um, it's not often that I need to use a hardcore um, exfoliator on my face. I can use just something really gentle, like um, Simple brand, or just something really, really simple, something fine, but um, simple. So I do like this, and I do recommend it for people who um, do need exfoliating it is a good product it is a good brand but it's a little bit pricey if you can get it on special definitely go for it I do want to try the mask that they have not the exfoliator I like I said I use this as a mask but I want to try their actual mask and see whether that makes a difference so um anyway not bad just not for me Alright, I have a, another sample. This is by Coco and Eve, like a virgin, 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 like a, like a virgin, no, like a virgin. Um, this is a hair mask and it's great. Um, I don't remember what it smells like because it was a little while that I used it. I don't know, I think it's supposed to smell like coconut, coconut and fig, there you go. But it doesn't smell like that tanning lotion coconut. No, it smells more like the fig, like sweet. Um, this is amazing. I don't look after my hair. Um, as you can see, it's got kinks in it where I had the hair tie and I just couldn't be bothered doing anything with it. Uh, so I wasn't going to show you that. But I don't really do anything for my hair. Um, I should, but uh, I don't have a lot of time on my hands. But anyway, I got sent this um, in Ballabox and I loved it. It smells great. It feels great going in. Um, it feels great coming out. It feels great after the hair is dry. It feels great three days later. Um, yeah. I can't tell you anything else other than the fact that Coco and Eve's Like a Virgin is fantastic and yes I definitely would buy it again. Um, I would once again prefer to buy it on special because I don't really um, treat myself to hair products and such but I definitely love it and if you like to look after your hair um, give this a go. This is good. Love it. Next. This is a skin product I think. Yes. One sec. Yeah. This um, is a... Give you just a, a, let me see. Avene Restorative Skin Cream. Um, another thing that I was sent in a Bella box. This was neither here nor there. I mean, let me see if I can. No, you're not really going to see that. Um, this was just sort of like a body wash, I think. Was it? Or did I use it as a body wash? Well, give me a second. Nope. Nope. It's not a body wash. I got confused. This is a kind of like a nappy rash cream or um, just a treatment for like, you know, if you've got sensitive skin or rashes or anything like that. Um, that's right. Yeah. This kind of reminded me of zinc. Um, it was okay, but it just wasn't anything that I would... I mean, and I have young children. Um, so I was excited to get this, but it's just neither here nor there. Um, I find that, you know, Bepanthem is fantastic for my children. And um, if Bepanthem doesn't work, then I really enjoy a nappy rash cream that is made by the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne. Smells like crap, but oh, it works. And I don't recall the name of it, so if I... If I find it, um, I will write it down in the links, not the links, but I'll write it down below in the um, information section. And um, it's very affordable, and that's what I would recommend. So, And it's made there, so it, that's even better. So all good. 
All right, let's go on to masks. I have a few masks. I love masks. So let's just start. This is the, I'm not going to say this, so I will try. Vitamasus. I will show you. Um, this is a sleep-in mask. There's a little mango there, you know, this... It, I think this is um, Korean. I mean, yeah, this is a Korean mask. And um, once again, I received this in the Bella box. And it comes out... It just looks like this little mango. And you peel the back off and the product is in there. And then you mix it and you put it on your face and then you go to sleep. And... Um, I didn't mind this actually. Um, it felt a little bit tacky uh, when I first put it on, um, but I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, it was it was different from the usual just sort of you know face cream bedtime. I I enjoyed it. Um, it didn't smell like mango though. I can't tell you what it smelled like, but it definitely wasn't mango. It did smell tropical, um, so that was nice, and um, I enjoyed it. But I probably wouldn't go out and purchase this particular one. I would like to try. They've got quite a few different styles um, in in this sort of. So I would actually like to try other ones to see whether that was better. But this particular one, I wouldn't go out and buy it. All right, some body shop ones. Now uh, I struggle trying to find masks that actually do anything for me, and um, so I thought, well maybe go to the body shop and so I did and when I was at the body shop I picked up a couple of samples that specifically target dry sort of sensitive skin and I picked up two I picked up the Ethiopian honey which is this one and I picked up the British rose and um they're nice but uh yeah. all right Ethiopian honey I put it on didn't really smell like honey can't tell you what it smelled like, kind of, I guess, chemical honey, I don't know, but it just, I didn't really like, I liked how it felt, like it felt nice when it was on, it felt luxury, um, it didn't look horrible, it didn't leak off my face, drip off my face, sorry, um, it was alright, but as soon as I washed it off, I realized that um, my skin was pretty much immediately dry and my skin was in pretty good shape before I actually started using this one. I made sure of that because I, you know, I really wanted to test these out. I really wanted to give a good review. Um, and no, um, I had to spend about a week sort of rehydrating my skin after using this one. It was not good and I definitely would not buy it if you have sensitive skin or um, a prone to eczema or really, really dry skin. I really didn't like this, so... A lot of people do, but personally for me, I just didn't like it. As for the British Rose, I enjoyed this one more. Um, it felt really nice on the skin. In fact, it actually felt kind of cooling. Um, I don't normally like Rose, but this wasn't too bad. Like, I don't know, it kind of smells like Rose and Port Wine Jelly. I don't know, but it does. Um, same thing though, like... I took it off and I sort of my skin was a little bit dull, a little bit dry and I kind of thought, well, what's the point? What's the point in spending this kind of money on a big one if I was to get it if I'm just going to have to go into damage control afterwards? Big no for me. So then I thought, well, why don't I just go and buy a whole bunch of different styles of masks and figure it out from there. So I went to Kmart, not particularly for masks, but I was just there. And I came across uh, OXX. So, and yes, I know it's a really cheap brand, but I thought that I would give it a go because this mandarin one was on special for 50 cents and it said revitalizing and I thought, well, why not? And you know what? Although this mask, sorry, it's a little tub, although this mask really didn't do anything um, long term for me other than, you know, just having a pamper session, um, I would probably buy a hundred of these over one of these, one, you know, because it didn't dry my skin out. Like, um, it smelled like mandarins and... That's probably one of the main reasons why I wouldn't buy it again because I don't actually, I don't really like citrusy kind of, well, not mandarin anyway. Um, yeah, but it didn't do anything. Like, if I had a teenage daughter um, that wanted to 
have a bunch of girls over or something like that or I don't know if the kids just wanted to mess around and do masks or something like that I'd probably go and get a ton of these you know 50 cents they can have sessions not going to do them any harm I would definitely buy it for the kids um, or you know just just to cheer up a friend or something like that but they don't really do anything long term um, didn't dry me out though so that's a bonus let's talk about one I hate <laughs> and it's probably because of my skin type and I wasn't really thinking clearly when I brought it so more so on me than it is on the brand probably um, but I've got Botanical Choice Deep Cleansing Peel Off Mask in green tea I hate it I don't have anything nice to say about this I didn't like the smell I didn't like putting it on my hair got stuck in it um, and then when we came to peeling it off, I, oh, wow, pain, absolute pain. I ended up scrubbing it off, um, like washing it off with it. I pretty much exfoliated the product off my face because I just couldn't get it off around here, down here. I was in pain. That's not happening again. I don't even want to experiment with their other ones. Um, anyway, botanical, this has got two names, I think. Botanical Choice and pure, pure Derm. So Botanical Choice up there and Pure Derm there. I don't know, but um, if you've got dry skin, don't buy this. If you've got oily skin, maybe. I don't know. But I hated it and I don't want to talk about it anymore. That's that. All right. Now, ooh. I don't know the name of this one. But, oh, Seventh Heaven. I have a Seventh Heaven mask. I took the label off. This is the Strawberry Cream Moisturizing and Toning Hydrating Mask by Seventh Heaven. Um, this is not bad. Like, um, it doesn't really like do anything super special, but the smell isn't too bad for synthetic strawberries. It smells like strawberries and cream. Um, it feels nice on, it's easy to wash off, it's convenient. Um, it's a nice pamper session sort of skin mask, but it doesn't like leave my face feeling, you know, super supple or anything like that. Um, it's just nice. Um, would I purchase it again? Probably not, because I want to find something that actually blows my mind. So I like it. I would recommend it to some people who just really want to like, I don't know, jump in the bath or just relax. It is a good wind down mask. I give it that. So did like it but mm. um went back to Kmart and decided not to go with the OXX ones and came across a brand just called face masks and I brought two I brought one that's for dry skin types which is nourishing and it's an oatmeal and aloe vera one which was this and putting it on my face I couldn't stop laughing because it's chunky and um I'll see if I can insert a photo maybe up here or do I have enough room to move over I'll, I'll insert a photo here um it's nice though it smells nice it smells like porridge porridge on your face but um doesn't really do anything it was cheap enough and um yeah um it may have given me a little bit of hydration probably more so than any of the other ones that I've actually spoken about but and yeah, nah, I just didn't like the chunkiness it was really it was a pain in the butt. I didn't like washing it off. I didn't like putting it on. Um, I got a bit of a laugh, so I guess I got my money's worth there. The other one I got was the Blueberry Goji Berry All Skin Types Revitalizing. This smells amazing. This was worth it just for the smell. Um, it's slightly pink, uh, not pink, it's slightly purple, purpley blue. I'm trying to smell it. It was a while ago that I used it. Mmm. Mmm. I can't tell you what it smells like. It's delicious. It's it's very fruity. It's very sweet. If you don't like sweet ones, don't put it on. But oh, I loved this. This is what I would wear if I was going to have a bath and I wanted to feel like I was being pampered, you know. Uh, candles going, maybe some hardcore music in the background because I'm not into that sookie la la sort of stuff, you know. Maybe a little bit of divinals in the background. Like I said, candlelight this on, bubble bath, bath crystals. Everybody's gone. Nobody annoying me. This coffee beside me. Hey, Maduri beside me, maybe. Who knows? But yeah, definitely, I would definitely buy this one again. Like I said, doesn't give um, any sort of long-term sort of bonus things like that, but it is very, very nice, and I do like this one, and I would purchase this one again, even though it doesn't really do a lot other than make me feel good. Next one I have, I know I have a lot, um, is a Garnier Skin Active Aqua Mask for dehydrated skin. I like this. 
I would buy this again. Um, this did make my skin feel quite nice afterwards. Um, it did feel hydrated um, and it even felt a little brighter. I don't know, I think. I just squeaky clean um, but not dried out so I really enjoyed that and I definitely will buy that one again and um, I want to buy actually I've got another couple of Garnier masks that I want to trial coming up I actually want to do a video with um, a relative so we'll see how that goes and um, hopefully that one can be just as good as this one so um, yeah got a, two different masks from Garnier that I'm upcoming and trying and the last mask that I have and so far it's right, it, it has to be my favourite, even better than the Goji Berry one. And this is by Garnier, it's Skin Active Hydro Bomb Tissue Mask. Um, this is the only tissue mask that I've actually tried, and it is amazing. I've got to tell you though, it is very wet. Um, it's not very convenient for walking around. Um, it will slip a little bit. It is a little bit of a pain in the ass to put on, but it's hydrating. It feels cooling. It's it's great. I, I loved it. Um, I don't buy it unless it's on special. There are, uh, I think, three, maybe four different types for different skin types. This is the one that I prefer. I've tried the pink one which I think is for sensitive skin and I just didn't see any difference between the sensitive one and this one and I do have sensitive skin. This one didn't make me break out or get rashes or anything like that. Um, it says that it's ultra hydrating, rejuvenating mask. Um, it's got pomegranate extract, hyaluronic acid, hydrating serum for normal to dehydrating skin. It's great. It's dermatologically tested. I think a lot of things say that. I don't think dermatologists sit there trying out all these products, but then again, I don't know. Love it, love it, love it. Definitely would buy it. Definitely would recommend it. Have recommended it. Do have a video review on this. I'll leave a link there if I can. Um, so go check it out. I think I've got another, I've pretty much most of these I do have a review on. Um, maybe not the peel off mask. Yeah, I do have a full playlist that has most of these masks in it if you want to have a look. Alright, I've got four things left and they're sort of makeup related but nothing like too well. First thing I have is a mascara by Rimmel London. It is the Extra Long Lash. This um, was my favourite. Uh, I've tried a lot of mascaras. I've been disappointed. In fact, I've got like 10 of them in my drawer that I'm going to do a review on because I can't stand them. I've wasted so much money and I just always seem to have gone back to this one until recently. Um, this one I've used up mostly. Uh, I left it in the car and unfortunately I changed the texture. It's got a um, rubber sort of bristles. Let me see if I can show you. Rubber sort of bristles. It's um, it's not too wet, it's not too dry, it coats it quite nicely. It's great for getting those little lashes. I love this thing, I think it's fantastic. And yes, I am gonna buy more of this, even though I found two more mascaras that I love a lot more um, now. But this one's always gonna be sort of my go-to. Like, this is my convenient one. The other two mascaras that I really, really like, I've gotta be very careful putting it on because they will transfer to the upper lid and the lower lid. But this one, I can, I can put this one on when my partner's driving the car, going over bumps, you know, I can, it goes on, it goes on just as well. Uh, the end result looks just as good as the other two um, mascaras that I was just mentioning. But this one, I can just boom, 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 it's on. If I just want to go out for the day and I don't want any other makeup on, then I just throw this on. Whereas the other ones, um, I would wear more so if I was going to wear full face of makeup. So I will go back to this one. Like I said, it's the extra long lash one. Um, I think it's fantastic. It's an extreme black great. It's cheap too, so give it a go. Let me know what you think. Next is a sample. It is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer Broad Spectrum SPF 15. I got this, uh, I made an order, oh, I made an order through Mecca. I brought the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex Mascara and um, I got this. <sighs> Why does it have to be so expensive? I put this on and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, I want it. I, I'm just trying to justify spending the money on the full price, I mean the full size bottle. Um, it made my makeup perfect, like better than any um, primer I've ever used. I haven't used a lot, I've got to be honest with you there. but. 
I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And so far, it is my favourite. It is right up there. Um, I thought it was going to dry me out. It didn't. It was, it was great. It's just a shame about the cost because I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to spend the money to get it. So, yeah. But then again, who knows? Ha. All right. But anyway, that was the Hourglass Veil um, Primer. Beautiful stuff. <sighs> Primer I hate. And I can use that word. I just can't stand this. This was horrible. This is the Revlon Youth Fix. I got this as a sample as well. I um, believe I got it in a Bella box. And... Um, this is probably not for dry skin people. Um, I don't know if it's even for people with um, oily skin. This is horrible. Like, it says it's the fill and blur primer for face and neck. This felt like, um, mm, like, this felt like thick molasses, uh, like trying to drag thick molasses across my skin. It was worse than that. It was like, um, how can I explain it? Caramel. Like somebody just chewed up a mate. Have you heard of mates? They're, I don't know if you can sell them anymore. A fantail. It's like somebody just chewed up a fantail until it was really, really gooey and then just put it on my face and I'm trying to spread it across. It was horrible. It's really hard to sort of actually apply on the face and it was tacky, like really tacky. And, um, and then when I put uh, my foundation on top of that, the weirdest thing happened. I don't know. It it kind of broke up my um my foundation. It was the foundation turned patchy and there was like gaps. I can't explain it. It's kind of, yeah. It sort of just separated it and just left these sort of like I don't know. It's almost like it it accentuated my um pores and I don't have naturally large pores, but that's what it felt like. It felt like that it opened up my pores after I put the foundation on and you could see like little gaps where the foundation hadn't sat where it was supposed to. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether it was the foundation not mixing well with the primer or whether it's just the primer is defective. I don't know, but I don't like it. I used it with the um, uh, Maybelline Dewy Smooth um, foundation, so I don't know. But I personally for me, I didn't like this. And last but not least is another primer. This is by Maybelline. It is the Master Prime Hydrating Primer. I'm really upset to be finished with this because I don't have any other primers right now to use except for an illuminating one. Um, and I don't always want to be sparkling. So, um, yeah, this is great for people who have dry skin, especially um, sort of like drugstore chemists, whatever. It, it's um, a cre I might be able to pump some out. Hang on. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. That's a nice big bit. It's kind of like a cream and it sort of just rubs in just like a moisturizer. Doesn't smell bad. Um, it, yeah, just like that. And um, it's night and day when I don't use it. Um, if I don't use it, I get crusty bits all over the face. I do have really dry skin. Excuse me. And um, this helps. I don't know whether it helps the longevity longevity of my um, foundation, but I can tell you that it definitely helps um, make me not look cakey and um, it keeps my face dewy. So um, it does its job and I'll definitely be reordering another one of these, especially since this is more in my price range than the um, Hourglass Veil. Um, I, if I could afford the Hourglass I would probably have both still. Um, I would probably get this one, put it in my worst areas, which would be the tip of my nose and just right here. And I'd probably use the Angel Veil, uh, Angel Veil, sorry, the Hourglass Veil primer um, everywhere else. But this is a fantastic one, and um, you can usually get it on special somewhere, um, either Big W, Priceline, um, or Chemist Warehouse. Um, if it's not on special at one place, it's usually on special at the other. So have a look for it. It is good. There's a couple of other different ones as well. Um, but this one here, the hydrating one, this is the one that I love for my skin. And um, it's a staple for me. So anyway, that's pretty much everything that I have in my empties. And I think I've been yakking for 30 odd minutes. So I do apologize. There was a lot of masks there. So um, and this is my first one. So I will attempt to make more of these videos, hopefully make them just a little bit shorter. I know I ramble a lot. I really appreciate it. If you made it to the end of the video, please 
give me a thumbs up if you liked it and come back. Um, I haven't done a few videos, I haven't done many videos lately um, and I want to get back into making sure that I have at least one video a week uploaded. Um, I've got a playlist running at the moment so I'm going to try and do that in lieu with my beauty box, uh, not beauty box, well it is a beauty box, but also with my Bella box. I also want to be doing um, my Yeah Nah um, opinions which is like the latest uh, makeup that's come out whether I'm interested in it or whether I just think it's too much. Um, but we'll see how we go. Baby steps. So I've got to get this lighting fixed first. Um, I really need to get this set up fixed. This is not exactly a great background. Um, it's distracting. It's distracting for me. I keep looking in the viewfinder. But anyway, um, yeah. If you want to see more, subscribe, check the bell so you get the notifications, and I really appreciate you coming back. So thanks, guys. Bye.